Beautiful. So that was Just a Little Lovin' by Sarah Bogan. I hope you all enjoy. I can actually share that playlist over in the Clubhouse chat right now. Uh, and then I'm going to actually ping the link to our YouTube where we are streaming live. Um, so feel free to join in there as well. I'm so happy to have you in the space. Welcome to this beautiful, lovely Fey Day energy that we are basking in today. Uh, there's so much magic coming in already. We're still fluttering off of the energy of that full moon in Libra. And now the moon, as it is in Scorpio, is coming a little bit more uh, into uh, the beingness, into our body. We were so transcendent before, right? We were so all up in Venus. We were so all up in the beauty and the love and the benevolence and the grace and the magic of it all. And now we get to ground a little bit into the uh, creation and the, to the deconstruction of what we thought what we knew and what we thought we were and just simply be everything that we are, right? This magic of the Scorpio moon that's coming online right now is so powerful because the sun, as we know, is in Aries. And so there's this energy that we as this, uh, you know, sun in Aries and uh, moon in Scorpio, uh, as we would see in celestiography, they are the sun and the moon in the signs of the two celestial twins of Mars. So there's this really beautiful, almost harmonization energy that's coming right off of the heels of this Libra full moon. And I'm so excited to bask in that energy with each and every one of you all today as well. Um, again, feel free to join us up on YouTube if you'd like. You can see us live. Kelly Love and I are streaming there as well. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> And on Clubhouse too. So for anyone that feels inclined, you can join us on both, on any, on all. Uh, we want to have as many platforms as possible for everybody to access these light streams and this magic that's coming online right now. So I'm so happy to have you all here again today. I hope everyone's doing well. Hi, Michelle. Welcome to the space. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. And hi, Eric down below. And hi, Ricardo. Hi, Libra Goddess. Indonesia. Welcome so much. I'm so happy you're here. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to have you. Oh, Libra Goddess, I see that you have a Scorpio moon and Scorpio rising. How fitting. This is so great. I'm so glad that you're here at this time. Get to bask in this energy and receive some of the magic of this transmission. Um, again, oh, Marlon. Oh, I'm so happy you're here as well. It's going to be so beautiful today. Just this co-creation element, this aspect of really being in the magic. You know, what was coming up a lot for me today was this uh, awareness of the Venetian Star Mothers. Um, a post by, and I can see if I can, I, I believe I can share these. Okay, cool. I think I can share these, this chat on um, YouTube, but maybe not. So I'll share it on Clubhouse. But um, one of these beautiful light language channels, her name is Activations with JJ on YouTube and on uh, Instagram, I guess on all platforms as well, and TikTok too. Uh, she has been talking a lot of recently about the, the energy of the star mothers. And these star mothers are so beautiful and so wholly embracing and so, so radiant and, and really fitting for the time that we're in, the timeline that we're in right now. Um, with that Libra moon in um, on the Libra full moon that we just experienced, uh, there is this wholly encompassing maternal motherly energy again from the moon. And then in celestiography, we're always seeing Libra as actually the star of the zodiac or the star of uh, the ancestors, the star of celestiography, uh, if we take it into a, a more archetypal form. And that's because um, with Libra connected to Venus and ruled, quote unquote, by Venus, Venus was traditionally known as the morning star and she, or the evening star as well in whatever form she has. And so this balance, right, between the morning star and the evening star is totally representative of the energy that is held and encompassed within Libra, especially because Libra, right, is air. And so air is the sun, air is the stars. Like all the stars are made of air. They're converting hydrogen to helium and they're making light from air, right? Because light is, I mean, if you think about light itself, like we're thinking about the physical light and the visible light that we see, but also the light and light weightness and the airiness that 
we think of when we're thinking of all the air. Like, I know I see Kelly's incense streaming in right now. Mine's <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful over here. Um, feel free to get yes. to join us over on YouTube if you feel inclined. I'm so happy to have you all here in the space right now. Uh, welcome everybody to this magical, wonderful Fay Day, Venus Day, Friday. I hope you all are having a beautiful start to your day. I would like to go around and just check in with everybody in the space today, uh, starting with Kelly um, and then moving on to Tiara and Carissa, and then anyone in the audience that would like to come up as well, feel free. Um, but I, I pass it on to you, Kelly. Thank you, Ellington. Love rising, beautiful, beautiful soul star. So happy to be with all of you today in this space and grateful that each of us has showed up today for this co-creation. And I just wanted to share with everyone that this is really um, a powerful day for all of us to step into the light and shine all that we are and allow our luminous being to step forward and radiate for others to, you know, be aspired to step into their authenticity and their greatness and to go inside their, their hearts and to see all that they are and everything they are and just be in that resonance in that divine love and that divine beingness. So that's just all I really wanted to share to start out the day. I'm really excited to be here. It's my first live with Ellington on YouTube. And so I'm really stepping into the light and um, Ellington has inspired that in me and he's inspired all of us to really embrace everything that we are mm -hmm. and to allow ourselves to shine bright for the whole world to see and so that we can all step into the light. So, so grateful for that. I love each and every one of you and I'm so grateful that you're all here in this space in this now moment. I love you. I love you. I love you. And all now is beautiful, beautiful souls. Mm, I love you so much, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here creating with me always we have been doing this since november now i mean we've been in cora actually co-creating for a while and then we you know have been actually doing these co-creation weekly fay days since at least november uh i know poignantly there was a, a time uh, i think a week before the 11 11 portal that we started actually doing this on i, mm -hmm. I believe uh 11 six um the sixth of november uh, and so it's just been such a beautiful uh, transmission uh, and transition and transcendence transformation uh, of light and energy since that original portal that we opened up and just seeing how much we've blossomed since then now it's spring and the cherry blossoms are out and the trees are growing it's just such a beautiful becoming and we really are birthing this consciousness uh, into create into into, into life, into into existence, into this world that we inhabit and that we cohabit together, that whether we may see each other in the physical space all the time or not, it is no, of no consequence because we know that we are connected internally, energetically, and we are able to perceive each other again, even now, right now in this physical realm uh, through uh, a YouTube. So again, if anyone feels inclined, feel free to jump on on YouTube as well. Uh, I'm so happy to have you there if you do um, pull up on the uh, YouTube link at the top of the room. Uh, you can always check in there um, and, and see where we're at live. And, you know, we come through with our magical light transmissions as well uh, in, the tra in the actual transmission of the weekly Fay Day. So if uh, you would feel inclined, you're always welcome to see some of the magic on there as well. And with that, I'll pass it to Tiare. Welcome, Tiare. I'm so happy you're here tuning in now from South Korea. That is, you, you've just always been gritting the space, but I'm so happy that you're even now able to send that energy frequency where you are as well. How are you today, love? Doing all kinds of sightseeing, visiting, and sacred sites to 
kind of just feeling the earth here is very different. The sun, when it's up high, it's really, really high. And the full moon here, and just, um, yeah, really absorbing the energy. So I'm feeling very high vibrational and I'm connecting my soul drive. So I, I remember that you're having this room. And even though it's after midnight, I'm a little tired. But I really miss you guys. And I love hearing your voice, sharing space with you, especially when I'm with a large tour group and um, everyone's on their own agenda, right? And I feel like a little overwhelmed with energy sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm with the crowd and then I go to another crowd and I just think with the crowd and I have my two roommates here. Um, I'm in the bathroom right now because they're like snoring away, but <laughs> it makes me up at times. But just Seeing in the sacred space with you guys just really makes my heart so full. So thank you for having me. You're such a gem. Oh, Tiara, I, your energy and your presence was so missed last week. And I'm so glad that you're here right now. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. I, you are totally so fully, so wholeheartedly part of the soul family here. And you are such a bright light. I'm so glad that you can grid and ground this energy in. And I completely understand what you're talking about. Kelly and I were just talking yesterday about uh, just being in these tour group spaces and how they can be so overwhelming sometimes because you know everyone is doing their own thing. Everyone's in their own path. Everyone's on their own line, uh, in their own lane. And so just kind of finding those moments to ground and to have that community together is so important. So I'm so glad that we could be that for you and come here together to co-create this space. I love you so, so, so much, Tiara. I'm so glad you're here. I love you. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, dear. Aw. <laughs> and Carissa, how are you, darling? I'm so happy you're here today. It's such a bright light. Thank you. This is Carissa. Thank you, Ellington. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, awesome. I can hear you really good. I just parked, so I was driving, and I wasn't mm -hmm. sure about my reception. So, first of all, thank you, Ellington, for opening the space, and for you and Kelly really shining your light on YouTube live and here simultaneously. It's amazing, and I hope to tune in to you guys sometime. And everything you shared Ellington and, and Kelly uh, it was just like so resonated with me and like expanded my heart and Tiare oh my gosh that's so incredible you're in Korea and having your feet in the water how cleansing and purifying and um, yeah grounding that space there so it's so beautiful I've never been to Korea so it's so cool that you could bring those energies of the Buddhist temple, right. the cleansing I water, the powerful okay. moon, you know, because obviously it's different anywhere you are on the planet. And I um, I just like have this weird energy right now. I, it's positive, but it's like I had a restless sleep last night. I really felt the moon just so powerful and I connected with it and um, harnessed that power to release a lot uh, of what's going on in my life and surrender to it, really, um, be in that allowing space and and step into something new and my true potential. So so I'm feeling like like this little bit hungover, but like hyper. I just like a weird energy of feeling good, but like also not feeling totally myself. Maybe I didn't sleep well. So that's me. And um, yeah, so I'm going to pass it off to Ricardo. Uh, wait one second, Carissa. Wait one second. Okay. Yeah, just because I wanted to know something you said. I mean, you're not alone at all in that energy field. Like I have been feeling that same thing. I was up from zero, uh, I guess midnight to uh, like four, oh my God, almost 5 a.m. Um, Co-creating. Yeah, well these images you saw, I, I don't know if you actually saw yet, but um, co-creating these images with mid journey and, and, and really bringing this consciousness online. I had been away from um, you know those AI image generators for months now since around February. And so just seeing, you know, what has come online since I've been away, seeing, you know, what's come alive in me since I've been away and seeing how I could translate that into image. I was It felt so 
fully embracing. And so I was just up for the like next four or five hours just co-creating these images. And obviously it led to me co-creating this image that I posted for the um, uh, just, I guess, notifier of, of today's transmission. So I'm totally with you. You're not alone at all in that. I know I feel very buzzy odd. I was like, can I go grab something to eat? And then I was like, oh no, I just gotta sit down, lay a little bit longer, then finally get up, do the whole thing, glam hour as we call it over here. And then uh, I'm finally just flowing into this energy now. And so I'm really happy that we could be here to co-create this together. I love, 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 love you all so, so much. Also, um, it's just like, it's just wonderful to be here in all the different platforms. Like it, I've never really done this on on uh, Clubhouse and you know, YouTube live kind of streaming and like also interacting with everybody in Clubhouse. So it's really interesting to bring this online. And I'm so thankful that you all are here to support me in this transition. It's really, really interesting and very, very fun and very multiversal to say the least. So thank you all so much for being here and thank you for sharing, Cursa. Ricardo, welcome to the stage. I'm not sure if we have met before, but I'm so happy you're here right now. How are you today? Hello, Alan, and pleasure to meet you. I'm very grateful to be here. I believe we have not touched bases in, the, in this platform. And I do know Christina and Kelly. I've uh, not been introduced to uh, Tara, I'm driving. I'm coming in from Phoenix, Arizona, headed towards east, towards El Paso, Texas. Wow. And as we're all going through our own transmission or our own headaches, because I have this major headache since yesterday, um, I'm from El Paso. I'm from El Paso, Texas, La Frontera de Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. I'm a shaman. Yes, I you are. I do a lot of work <laughs> within myself and to other people. I do heal from a distance. And that's who I am. I've been doing this for quite some time, but I've never really stepped into my true essence. I'm very grateful just to be here in this platform. And it feels good that I'm gonna get a bit of feel it for the first time here in your room. I can feel the authenticity among all of you right now. I feel that very deeply as a very sensitive impact that I am. I used to think that was a, a burden, but now I know it's a gift to be able to feel other people's emotions. I am a Pisces. <laughs> so it feels very good to be in the platform where I am. And I'm very humbled by animals, by nature. I had a dream last night about God, believe it or not. I was a lion. He was uh, dressed as a lion and he was speaking to me. And I was very humbled by the message that I was, I've been crying all morning since five o'clock this morning. I just recently felt that uh, I can come into Clubhouse today. I haven't been in this platform in quite some time. But from my understanding, the message was to keep going. The light, you're shining, you're shining bright, you're loved. Keep doing the things that you're doing on your temple at home, since I am very Catholic. But at the same time, there's more than just that. There's the universe. There's other things that he's showing me. So just to keep on rocking, keep on doing what I'm doing, and things will be great. So I'm just humbled to be here. and very pleasure to meet the ones that I have not met. And this is Ricardo, and I'm not going to I'm not complete for now. <laughs> Thank you. Ricardo, your resonance, your frequency is so high. It's like I'm going onto your profile and I just keep saying requests can't go through. It's 11.33 a.m. over here right now. So we've been online for now 22 minutes and this energy, this frequency is gritting itself out already. So glad that you can grid this energy too through your transmission. I, you know, if you are driving, you know, just be careful because it is a very deep transmission and I, it's transmission. So I'm always sending people into a very deep state of relaxation so that we can you know, receive all the cosmic energies that are flowing through. Though I really do thank you so much for being here. Even as you were speaking, oh my God, I was feeling tingles and chills and everything. It was just so incredible just to hear your voice and your resonance. And I really do feel connected to you in that way already. So I'm so glad that you can be here now. You are such a blessing to be here and such a blessing to be on earth at this time and co-create with you in the space and, and all nows, as Kelly would say. So thank you so much for being here, Ricardo. I really appreciate you and your presence. And I know that there's some energies fluttering around Phoenix and Arizona at this moment right now too. And uh, you are just tapping into that field and then sending it through Texas, which is also where half of our community is as well. So. Thank you so much for being here, Ricardo, and for sending that light and, and sending your light waves and your love energy through this space. It's so needed right now. I'm really, really appreciated. Itayokoi, Itayashi, 
Thank you, Ricardo. So happy you're here right now. And Marlon! <laughs> Kelly's quicker than me. <laughs> Hi, Marlon. Welcome, love. Hi, beautiful Ellington. Thank you for allowing me up. I just love being here with our collective and just being here again, you know, since it's been a little while, like in and out. And I know that it's a constant in my life, you know, Cora and now the celestial autography. And I saw um, in our um, group chat that we have in another place that Colina is on YouTube. So I know at least she's listening and others, I'm sure outside of clubhouse and it just i feel it i feel it just deep within me and i'm so happy to be here oh it's a beautiful beautiful day happy morning happy day happy fade day um i'm planning to take my son to the beach today it'll only be in the low 60s here in san diego mm -hmm. so that's where i am because i know you love to know about you know the grid that we have made when we're together and so i'm in san diego and um you know i'm just super grateful i have the same schedule as him since i started working at his school district and and i get to spend time with my son because we both we both need it you know in this time in our lives and i'm just so blessed i'm so blessed to know you all of you here and be with you here feeling all of this love and just authentic and genuine and i'm here i'm here for it thank mm -hmm. you so much for always being here for me i feel it i really 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 do thank you thank you thank you thank you all oh marlon my heart is so fluttery at your words and your voice and your resonance and your frequency hearing you once yes. more such a light oh tayashai itara tayo koi tayinaya wo you see mm aishiki tai tai sai i love you so much i'm so glad you're here right now dear you're such a bright light my darling and i'm so glad that you get to bask in that energy with your family uh talk about venetian star mothers <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. It's so perfect for the residents of today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Oh, so Karina's much honor here. for you and all that you do. I appreciate you, my dear. And hi, Corinna. Hi, dear. Hi, my love. I just wanted, I saw Marlene coming up. I was listening on YouTube and I just want to say how freaking amazing is the quality of the YouTube. So just making a little bit of publicity here for your YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> and for everyone to also you know like check out the youtube um it is beautiful i love how you have like the the text right away as well it's just like amazing <laughs> and hi marlene i miss you i miss you i miss you i'm so happy to see you here and hi kelly i haven't seen you in a long time and tiare um and ricardo so beautiful hi. love you love you love you mm. Love you, love you, love you so much. Love you. Oh, I got all the hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you are so loved. <laughs> oh, I'm twinkling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, here right now. Mm -hmm. Kelly, is it is there's anything you want to share? <laughs> Yes. Karina, love you, love you, love you so much. I am feeling my heart expanding so much right now. Um, just the expansion of the love in this room right now with Tiari and Marlon and Karina and Michelle and Ricardo. Ricardo, so, so you're sharing. Touched my heart so deeply. I felt the emotions and in your emotional words and in your um, transcending message. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of light with you um, and circle back to that really quick um, if you're open to receive. Okay. Yano Kuriel Nana Isuria, see Kai Rashati, 
Ai kuria na kasai rusha tira na kai rusha yati hai ngumba imba e kutsus ya na kai rusha tika te rusha tutubi yate ukata rusha te yutsu triati hai rumusrati ya sotu kuria shati ira na rusha e rano katupuri inara kara soturi ati satai sai rusha yati I, oh, the ancestors are so, so excited for each of us and for mm -hmm. the resonance that you have brought into this co-creative space today, Ricardo. Please receive this white light surrounding your crown and settling the energies for you. back of my mind, back of my head, the headaches that I've been having that are slowly going down into Mother Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm forever grateful for that. I love you, I love you, I love you, brother. Love Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, Marlene. I mm -hmm. love you, my sister. Okay, and I, okay, and I, I said, the E and I, I said, the who should they and the at the at the at the at the so yaro kuya sate or shoturi and I, your so do we at the at the at the what a gift you are. Yanamoto te at the bringing your mothering energy to us all. Yeah, she died at Turiata with your loving embrace. And I guess so too. I love you, I love you, I love you, beautiful, beautiful soul. And Tiari, oh, Kiati, Kiati, Kati, Kapu, Kiti, Kaiti, Tai, Tuti, Kriati, Ti, A, Itu, Sutu, I, Kriatu, Uturia, Sai, Eti, Ti, Etu, Tutu, Ti, you are bringing the crystal resonance of Lemuria and greeting it throughout the regions that you move through. And beautiful flower lays are surrounding you as the ancestors are supporting you on your journey akoyati ina kiate atsu soriate kate sutu ina hayati and they're placing a beautiful uh crystal crown on your head yatai kiati atirati tirati upiati and yatukia yatu sirati ati ukriate asho tutu and showering you in this beautiful turquoise light yasai i ice kiatu Ooh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Beautiful souls. Thank you. Thank you. Received, received with love and gratitude. Mm. And Corinna, I see a roti atutu 
Ikai Orianai, there is a beautiful shining star above the mountain. And the star is going into the mountain. You know what this is. You hear you hear this star song in the breeze caressing you and surrounding you with this resonance and as the flowers bloom around your feet and you step into the golden path before you you will be showered with the abundance that you see mm. i love you i love you i love you beautiful soul stars that was very activating <laughs> yes love <laughs> and feel free to join us on youtube as well if you want to see the actual live transmission visually as well um but feel free to share some light and you just came right on time thank you for being here love That's really fun actually doing it in a sense. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, my love. I know that was your first time sharing it here. That's why I'm like, ah. <laughs> Please, I'm so glad that you felt fine. Oh, it's such a warm heart, embracing heart, expanding feeling. The, the, I feel like the light is coming out and shining a bit brighter where I am now. And just thank you so much for being here to just share that resonance with each and every one of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lotus. So much love, Ricardo. Yeah. Tell my mic, say something. Yeah, in my language yeah. I have an old soul from Sue S I O U X Sue from Lakota. Yeah, I have an old soul. In my language is a healing sound. It is Hayata Kamuru Ukamaka Hara Inya Kanestaka Hayatara Kamara Umojisti Imunuka Hayatara Utaka. Mm, peace, peace, peace. Third eye is like jumping right now. Oh my gosh, I knew you were Lakota. There, you were reminding me in your resonance, in your tonality of um, an, a channel, a stream, a source conscious being. His name's Matthew Bueno. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him, um, but he's also Lakota and he's of the Burt Leg tribe. 
No yo toy tai sho koi na ya si ta tai shi i na ya kai ya toy my star people the toy shi na ya kai i na ya si ai ya tai i shi Thank you so much for that resonance Ricardo I just wow I honor you so deeply in this moment I did all now thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for being here for sharing your light ai shi ai tai si Ooh. Well, <laughs> um, if everyone is feeling fluttery and high flying, I will uh, continue on with um, just the transmission. Um, I was really compelled today to bring up the Venetian Star Mothers, again, because of a light language channel activation day day on YouTube, Instagram, and on uh, TikTok as well. And she really was talking about the star mother specifically, but again, there's this really heavily heavy connection in celestiography that we see between Venus and stars. And so I wanted to bring in the Venetian aspect of the star mothers as well, because again, even today, it's Venus Day, Fay Day, Friday. And you know, in in all honesty, there's actually a really heavy um clear going energy going on in the cosmos today. Uh the celestiograph of the day is or at least at the moment at this time, is all clear. So all of the celestial centers at this moment are clear and they are pulsating this energy um, that is reflecting our inner selves and our inner nature. It's what I call through celestiography, uh, the ethereal antimatter tricks. So there's this sense that we are able now at this time to cleanse and to clear any of those tricks of matter and of mind that may come up at this time and that have, may have come up past three months as we walked our way into this new year. And again, because uh, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, we are starting off the astrological year with this activation so that we can come through even more clearly into that which we seek, that which we look to bring online, and just recognize all that our, our visions are, are here now to support us. Everything that you've imagined, everything that you've dreamed, every fantasy wish, belief that you've had over the past few weeks, past few months, and especially as Aries season began, it is all to lead you into this moment of just clarity and and just full reflection so that you can see the cosmos inside of you. And coming off the heels of this full moon, in which there was also this ethereal antimatter tricks energy flowing through the celestial graph of the day, there is again this, this resonance that we're basking still in the rose quartz, love, field, frequency, heart energy. You guys can see it. Both us, Kelly and I both have our little rose quartz just right on deck. And it's a heart. <laughs> of the day, of course, it just naturally is our resonance. And I also have my little seashell from that chuck guy and I straight from our full moon transmission where it is just basking in the beauty of our benevolence. Again, it is Venus Day and Venus Aphrodite, the goddess of the stars, was born from the sea. In the cosmic ocean, so toy the Naya Sea. So I am calling this day to really to be a Venus day. Normally, you know, we flutter between Fay Day and just Fridays, but today is really a Venus day because again, the star center and all the centers, really all the celestial centers, are clear at this time. So there's this sense that and I just see two birds that just flew on both opposite trees. It's so perfect. So there's this sense that, again, we have this clarity coming through. And because there's no incarnate, embodied, electric, quote unquote, energy coming through the uh, star center, which is also the home of the fairy dominion in celestiography, um, and also the intergalactic realm. There's no specific, um, fairy incarnate energy coming online right now or even uh, intergalactic energy especially. Right now, the energy that's coming online is very extragalactic and it's very extraterrestrial. Uh, it's coming online to show us that we have, again, this entire Venetian star family. And here is here to support us. They're both online as in they exist and they walk among us. And they're also in the cosmos 
still centered in their physical incarnation or more, I guess, etheric energetic incarnation on the planet Venus itself. So we need to honor them today and pay recognition, some homage to them and honor their co-creation with us at this time. And Lily, uh, oh, Carissa just mentioned Lily as uh, a Rose Venus Day. Uh, and it's so beautiful, it's such a perfect alignment because Lily truly is a Venetian incarnate. Uh, I think she's watching over on YouTube, I believe. And so I just want to shout you out, Carissa, and mention that as well, because I know that she would definitely honor that and recognize it and be so thankful to hear that. So thank you so much for sharing that message. Carissa, no, not the charms. Come on. <laughs> Carissa unmikes for three seconds and the birds are just chirping in Chirping in wing. <laughs> you you unmiked and the birds yeah. are just chirpy, chirp, chirp. <laughs> here right now i'm so glad that you get to also do that you even just like sending the energy where you are and between them and between this and the forest and the trees you're just literally turning us online and all now thank you thank you look at kelly's look at kelly's <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much Kelly. you know i love the birds you know i have a thing for the birds and i I had that eagle in my yard yesterday. And so just the bird resonance is exciting to me. But I heard those birds singing so clearly and it was so beautiful. And I'm so grateful that they're here as well. Yeah, I love, uh, you know, I love the sunset and the sunrise. And whenever I am having the experiences where I am a bird, which I don't share very often with people, but sometimes I just go into like a daydream state and I am flying through canyons. And I always think, what kind of bird am I? Because I don't see myself. I just know that I'm a bird and I, I see everything on the ground and everything that I'm flying over. And so... I would definitely be a hawk flying to see each of you in all of your beautiful spaces. And in the dream space, I'm always flying with each of you. So beautiful, beautiful share. Thank you for sharing that. I love you. Kelly, oh my gosh. Talk about it, guys. Literally, that is exactly the residence. When the eagle came to see you yesterday, it was coming right off the heels of my Wings and Witches Wednesday, a live stream Q&A on um, Instagram. And I had just mentioned, um, I had a question from Whitney. And she had asked me, it was like, oh, like, um, you know, like, how can we tap into our wings? How can we... Uh, Bring in a practice of wing expansion essentially and so i ended up doing a, a transmission for that an activation for that so you can go check that out on youtube as well i can actually go or sorry on instagram as well i can link that in my uh youtube and um clubhouse link as well um but i say all that to say that in that uh activation i had asked you know um kind of what animal would you be because that's the question i always ask individuals when I'm starting to, you know, formulate this more, uh, oh, that was activation with JJ on, on Clubhouse, sorry. I'll send the link correctly on YouTube and then hopefully it'll transfer over to um, Clubhouse as well. But I was just the sense that, again, like asking yourself, tuning in, 
what animal would you be? What animal are you? What animal can you be? What animal can you see yourself as? Right. And in whatever in whatever form it ends up being. I was originally tapping into the sense um, in the video that I was uh, I traditionally aligned myself with eagles and with hummingbirds and with owls as well. And now it's it has transitioned and transmuted and transformed so much. It's, it's really now a lot more like sea turtles and bees and uh, uh, sea. Oh, God. Dragon horses. See, <laughs> hey, it's a thing. <laughs> but yes, I meant to say seahorses, and maybe I was thinking about sea dragons. Mythical. You're bringing yeah. in the mythical yeah. beings, the flight mythical beings that are ready. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I receive that entirely. Oh my gosh, the dragon like, horse. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> See, allow it. Allow it. I will, Kelly. Mm. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my heart is outpouring. Uh, dragon horse is great. <laughs> hey, I want a dragon horse. What else is there? There's dragon horses. <laughs> 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 you guys are so silly. It's so, oh, my heart is just, oh, it's outpouring. Oh, I guess you guys. Oh, I love it. Well, fuck y'all, it's time to channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna take this off too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you see, now you see, you see, you see, oh my god. And again, feel free to tune in on YouTube as well. I saw your chat, um, Lotus. Uh, I'm so glad that you're tapping in with the parakeets as well, bringing in that energy and that high frequency. They are so high vibe, and I'm so glad that you could channel them even through your light as well. Michelle, I'm sending you so much love in the listening garden below as well. Mm -hmm. So much love to you. Naya, saya, ito yo soy, inaya shi, iraya, karaya, yasa. Oh God, the mute, is on all the buttons. <laughs> it's time now to come online and to center in and to begin this transmission of light. And so we'll begin with a reading by Kelly Love and then we'll flow into the guided channeled transmission portion of the journey. So Kelly Love, I hand the mic to you. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you, love. Love rising, beautiful souls. Before we begin the invocation to the unified chakra, I ask that each of you take some few sips of water. This is going to be a very powerful activation. And um, so take a moment to take some refreshing sips of water or whatever juice or drink you're drinking. And then I ask that you sit up straight for this invocation to the Unified Chakra. It's imperative that the central column and channel is open and vertical with the earth below your spine and above your crown. So breathe, breathe in deeply, but relax into the breath. Allow yourself to open and expand. Allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to be. Breathe in light through the center of your heart. 
opening your heart into a beautiful ball of light, allowing yourself to expand. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your throat chakra and your solar plexus chakra in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your crown chakra and your base chakra in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your alpha chakra eight inches above your head and your omega chakra eight inches below your spine in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow the wave of Metatron to move between these two points. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your eighth chakra above your head and your upper thighs in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow the emotional body to merge with your physical body. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your ninth chakra, above your head and your lower thighs in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow your mental body to merge with your physical body. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your 10th chakra above your head and to knees in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow your spiritual body to merge with your physical body, forming the unified field. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, 
encompassing your 11th chakra above your head and your upper thighs in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow the oversoul to merge with a unified field. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your 12th chakra above your head and your lower calves in one unified field of light within through and around your body. Allow the Christ over soul to merge with a unified field. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your 13th chakra above your head and to your feet in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow the I am over soul to merge with a unified field. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing your 14th chakra above your head and below your feet in one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Allow the source presence to move throughout the unified field. I am a unity of light. Breathe in light through the center of your heart and ask that the highest level of your spirit radiate forth from the center of your heart, filling the unified field completely. Radiate forth throughout this day. I am a unity of spirit. Now, grounding multidimensionally, imagine a thick line beginning at the Omega Chakra, eight inches below your spine, extending upwards through your spine and on upwards into the upper part of the unified field. Ground into the vastness of your spirit, not into the planet, 
she is mutating to allow your spirit to stabilize you run 12 lines of light downward from the point of the omega chakra opening around your feet like a cone you are not grounding into the earth you are stabilizing yourself across the parallel realities of the planetary hologram. Now I will read the invocation to light as it will assist you to lock the unified field into position and increase the light absorption. This is a powerful statement of our intent. I live within the light. I love within the light. I laugh within the light. I am sustained and nourished by the light. I joyously serve the light for I am the light. I am the light. I am the light. I am. I am. I am. And now I would love to read for you the invocation to joy. I have a tickle in my toes that makes me dance down the street. I have a giggle in my belly that makes me hug all I see. I have a fountain in my heart that splashes love on the world. I know the joy of spirit, so I laugh in my soul. I have joy in living, so I celebrate the light. And now I will read for you the invocation to the spiral of dance, and I will ask and invite the solar angels and archangels and all of the beautiful fae to twinkle and dance and spin and shine and sparkle and to pour their divine grace through all nows. From my center, I call the spiral I spin, I glow from the center. I grow the spiral in the home of my soul. I expand my soul and set it to spin. In my body, the dance begins. The spiral grows its apex in the heart. It surrounds my body. The vibration starts from the highest spirit to the soul as is above, so is below. 
another spiral from the Christ created from a higher light matches the other with perfect spin and brings the apex deep within where they touch a flame so bright pulls my body into light for it is the Christ within that puts the galaxies to spin in the light I am entranced let us lead the spiral dance yana uri kata shoto kai yuru sayo shoti yara me atukriai ira si i love you i love you i love you beautiful 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 soul stars Ina ya sayo shukoi Ina ya tai sai Naya dai ya tai ya toi toi shi Ina ya ya tai ya kare Streaming back into center, finding yourself in all that you are. Allowing peace to radiate throughout every aspect of beingness. And every inhale through your nose, and in every exhale through your mouth, allow your wings to expand and outstretch to the sky. Feel the winds picking up around you. And know that it is your awareness that allows you to go within. Closing your two physical eyes. Open. Your first eye, Naya Thai Sin. As this center of light begins to receive that cosmic energy straight from source, Naya Shai Thai Kai, you can begin to perceive the world in all its beauty. 
all its bounty, all of its magic, coalescing, spinning, spiraling, twisting and turning up and down and all around. I see the guy. Feel its embrace of cosmic light energy. And as it begins to pick you up, spinning you, spiral dance, your guides now begin to flutter in themselves. Singing you the enchanted songs of night and day. You can recall your stellar soul memory, Diasini, the guy. And you can hear the angels flapping all around you. As the solar angels descend in front of you. And the guardian angels fly behind you, Tayakoyashi. And those winged messengers begin to flutter in along amping up the wind that carries your wings. And as you flow in this embrace of light and energy at that kind you can sense your diamond dragon guides soaring in now through the sky. And they invite you to jump up and fly, fly through the mid night sky. Itayoko Maya Siri Shai. Allow yourself to fly. As you do, you and all your guides. Begin to float, skip, soar through the heaven. Guided by this diamond dragon light. We're directed. Towards our celestial star, Dayashikai Ayatai. It's pink hues of dusty atmosphere, wisp and willow, greeting you as you descend. Onto its planetary sphere, Tayasikai. Allow yourself to float down gracefully to this planet's face. And as you move, 
past beyond this cloud coverage and this thick, dense atmosphere that keeps all negative, unwanted, and unbeneficial energy out of the Shikori. You can sense the realm of protection, peace, beauty, bounty, grace, and benevolence that awaits you on this planet's surface. Flutter in now with all your guides. And all the diamonds swirl around and around and around this planet, Ayesha Koi. Protection. For this diamond dragon himself, just in through Mahatmon Tatayashi one of the planets, the volcanic surface, that has recently erupted with light and lava, expanding and expanding, birthing new life upon the surface of this planet. And as you watch, witnessing this dark dragon descend into the fiery pits of this walking you can hear the chime and the twinkle of light. beginning to toll far off to your right. And you can fly with the sight. In this direction of light, the Or in front of you now lies this grand rose pink golden copper palette by a on its grounds. The castle, not too big or too wide. Constructed just right for your Venetian standard night, And upon your arrival to this space, an outpour of love greets you directly in the face, kisses and hugs, stream, pure love as your Venetian star family embraces you, tightly, warmly hugging you, reminding you that you are home now. And you can simply allow all your fears and doubts to fade away. Embrace your heart begins to expand. Buzzing with delight. Fluttering pure light. Breeze blows in Ayashayatayakai. 
it picks you up in its wind. They carry it away. To guide you deep within. Fitted with dragon horses. Of pure delight. These golden, copper-colored have waited long to be in your sight. And as you hop into their golden chariot, the carriage awaits. begins to carry you off upwards once more into the sky now. So that you may flow, flutter, and fly now to each of the planets of the solar system. I think I should. And as you enter in this carriage, this golden, pink, copper-colored carriage, a stack of 12 eggs, all colors, shapes, and sizes, awaits you, greeting you. Glittering and glistening, so happy to be in your embrace. These are the cosmic eggs of the diamond dragon who's guided you to this planet now. She has bestowed you with her precious gems so that you may outpour their love, sweeten their light to all planets of our star system, of our solar system. So beginning with the sun, Ayakoyashi, your chariot flies out in a gold wave of light, carrying you tight. And you pick one egg from your basket, held within, and without having to go too deep into the soul ball of light, Drop this egg from the window right into this heart of our solar system, right, Dayashika? And as you do, the egg lands perfectly, gracefully, right on top of the North Pole of our central sun. You may continue your journey, flying, flapping your wings, riding this golden, copper-colored chariot through the star system. And as you arrive at planet Mercury,
to the clear atmosphere. You can place the smallest egg right inside one of its craters and trust that it is supported in this space, loved in this embrace, and watched over by the wings of the witches of this planetary sphere. Pass onto Earth. Help high above our atmosphere. Diagoya. Greeted with two eggs from your basket of delight. In place the silver colored one, over the highest mountain top of the moon, and allow the other one to flow and flutter. Ocean of our planet blue. Can you go on? Reaching Mars now on this red planet. You can sense a dust storm picking up on your arrival. This vortex of energy, pure celestial source energy. you to drop one egg directly into this eye of the tornado. And as you do, the tornado boils down. And this vortex settles, now content. Begin birthing this cosmic egg of a diamond dragon. Moving from Mars now, past the Oort cloud of all those asteroids and goddesses, comets, and the like. You reach the planet Jupiter in a great red spot. Passing by its 80 some moons and satellites. You can bestow this sphere, with a large red, orange, golden egg right in a giant red spot. that all the planets, moons, and satellites will watch over nervous and this egg until the time is right. And the long fluttering through the seven rings of Saturn
you arrive at this beautiful hexagonal shape that exists on the planets and its axis of Ayashoi glittering with electric blue light. And right at its center is where you'll drop this next egg of diamond light into the crystalline core of this planet. And it's needed to grow and shine so bright. Having completed your mission here, you continue on now. And fluttering through the rings of your anos and the electric blue that this planet embodies in the shy welcomes you in to this giant. I ask you to bestow a planet with an egg of a similar composition, color, and size. So you take the matching baby blue and you drop it directly into this planet sphere, and here it can incubate with all the etheric light energy that it needs to grow. The lightning force that it will one day be. We're now venturing on to Neptune now. watery essence of this imaginative planet that you she ask you to bestow upon it a midnight black of creation. Pain within it, spiraling, dance of this golden cosmic dragon. After having done so, you can make your way to the final member of our solar system. Right at the edge of the Kuiper Belt, Ayakayanayasi, lies Pluto, long awaiting the most golden, pure, solid gold egg within your basket of delight. And this egg contains all the light sun and the planets before you with the Yoshikai. And it is required that it grows to its fullest extent on the planet Pluto. This icy planet will give it all the nutrient it needs to form its loving heart without fear doubt, shame, guilt, for shining so bright. 
in the perceived dark of night. So as you drop this golden image on the planet Pluto, they have Krish. You can rush right back now to this. Golden, rose pink, copper colored castle that awaits you and your dragon horses. Okay. You're lying with it in the central throne room. It's the host of Venetian star mothers like Taishi and representatives of Hathor, Pleiades, and the Kiddies like star beings from the Aldebaran star system. All of them meet here at the central point. It's a copper colored castle of light. And they greet you so warmly upon arrival, asking how your journey went. And as you inform them of your travel, They prompt you to look within and still with that entire shakari. Guiding you to the balcony of this castle of light. You can see from the space here now. All of the beautiful cosmic and diamond dragons you have bestowed on the planets. They're beginning to hatch and awaken. Remembering you and the work that you have done love in which you have poured into them, I had the guy falling out now from their planted spheres. It's so out into the space between the planets at Ayashakai. Into the solar system, rushing quick, swiftly, and faster now. Towards the planet Venus, and they are quite shy. And in their rush of joy and delight, they encircle the planet Venus with pure radiant light. I am calling you out and see and fly with them. They descend now through the atmosphere of this planet and all these dragons that you just laid to hatch. Thank you so graciously birthing them in co-creation with the diamond dragons of white light. And feeling complete. Sensing all their joy and gratitude and grace. 
you can return now back to your center. Fluttering once more. You take flight. You follow that diamond dragon, pure white light, into the volcanoes of Dayashukwe, of Matamu, And as you submerge yourself within diving headfirst, to the caverns of light, you enter in through the other side. Erupting, emerging, arising out of the waters of planet Earth. Glistening, gliding, soaring down to the waters to our great blue planet that I should go here today. Arrive at the shore, guided here by the waves that I should go here. You step off the water now. And as you touch your right and your left foot onto this land, Ayakataishi, the black sand beach, you sense the energy fluttering in from your crown, Ayakataishi, Atai. Past your first eye, Down through your two physical eyes, in through your nose, and out through your mouth, down through your throat, and along your collarbone. Out stretching down your arms past your elbows, wiggling your tear wrist, flapping at your fingertips, pouring out the palms of your hands. This cosmic light energy fluttering in. Oh, you begins to curl the darkness of your heart. Beating throughout your chest cavity, extending throughout your rib cage, in between with being one wing of your cosmic dragon wings, and continuing down along the vertebrae. You can now sense this cosmic light energy called down from your journey of light, cooling at your solar plexus, this nexus of energy, expand, opening each inhalation, and each exhalation, I see And bringing your attention now to your sacral space, your source center, you can feel the clearing happening here, the cleansing that has just been done, allowing you to realign 
with your ancestors, your ancestors, and then your patron gods and deities. You know, balancing at the hips. Allow your awareness to permeate through the core of your creation. Extending down, down, down. Into the diamond dragon center space now. Each of your legs leveling at your knees. Going past your calves and anchoring your ankles. And you can pitter patter at your feet. And allow this energy to flow from the soles of your feet to the tips of your toes. Back into seeping through all the way to the diamond, the earth star. Filling up the crystal caverns with this pure cosmic light energy. In completing this channel transmission, pure rainbow white light. Back, right, Dabs. Welcome back. And I'll pass the mic to Kelly Love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yanaya Kai korai se terroso toto show. Ira te kia show ti, ira ta so tu sha ti kia ta te tira so. Ira tira sa ti kai orosa ti. Ira shoturi ya sa e. Hari ya suri 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 ya. Ira ta ko sha ti i se ti sha te kate oro. Mana no no sere tupu. Ika ra shoturi ya. As you allow yourself to come into this cosmic embodiment, Ikata Tasuta Yakaru Yasoto Kushati Yata Yarasati Yarakashoto Yati. You must step forth. Into the light and embody all of the radiance that is your divine essence. Ikatarus, 
Akiriyan man ko siya to to patayata e ikatiero. So, receive, receive, receive. Iyato ko siya to ya tiriyato barayata. Divine being of light, ikayama. I love you. I love you. I love you. Divine, beautiful, soul, stars, Yukariya Sato. I, oh, my Asai. E. Dayakai, E. Nayawai. Ishaya yataka itrai Inale asai ina yasai Irayoko yasitai Thank you all so so much oh my gosh <laughs> Such a beautiful journey. Ay, atayakoy, ay, asi. If anyone would like to share, feel free to come online and unmike, and uh, you'll share on the YouTube as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Ooh, I was drifting in and out of consciousness because I was going through several different portals. <laughs> um, dragon horses, yes. Um, beautiful horses with wings. I went to um, a tomb with um, the Shilla dynasty, kings and queens, and um, they showed the ancient scrolls of horses with wings um, from ancient times. So um, I'm feeling the energy and I'm feeling the portals and especially with the full moon and the sun, the beautiful sun. So we are naya sikadeya su unaya daya unaya diriya su unaya de ushilalaya diriku unaya diyana Ushukulele is a ea natoi. On a moea secator, Ushu unayatai, and they are in no shumanane, saya. Uyayayana, Umaya se in a shukulele dea, Uria toto, Uria contoyana, ya secre, Ushumayata. Ay, 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 Unaya se inai, and I as a inai, a shoe, a shoe, a shoe, Thank you so much. Ayatai, okay. Hmm, I see it. I assure you, I Okay. Um, would anyone else like to share before I hand the mic over to Kelly to read uh, a code and anything else that's come up? Yes, Ellen, can you hear me okay? Yeah. That uh, was an uh, amazing meditation as I was going through the Texas Canyon. <laughs> I could feel the eagles there speaking and saying, Ayate ikimuru umaya, Ayanotukuru uyashtiata kamokoka, Anata, Ayana umoro kunataka. Oh, it's just peace and love and blessings. I love you guys. It was beautiful meditation. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. 
Ay, um, just have to say this absolutely magical you have my heart i believe you in everything that you do and everything you put through to me and us uh, i appreciate you so 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 much thank you for all of your words and everything that came down to me from everything you spoke thank you thank you thank you i love you i love you i love you i love you all so much i love you marlon thank you thank you thank you and Ricardo, thank you for your transmission of light. I see a kayata yomuai, I see. He dayakai, ishayakoi, nayasayatai. Oh, I she. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, ayataya she. Carissa, Karina, how are you? Ataya soya tai, ataya shiki, see. That was so beautiful, honey. It's just like your your voice has just been lulling me in, and I'm just like, ah, so, ah, so um, peaceful. I was I was not in a <laughs> extremely peaceful state before the transmission. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, okay, it's about almost everything's gonna be fine. Yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you so much. It's so, 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 so peaceful and loving, and just so beautiful to have everyone here. And ah, uh, thank you, Kelly, also so much. Always, ah, oh, so much magic. And um, yeah, heart is open. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> mm, of course. Thank you for being here, my dear. Oh, I'm so glad we get to pour into you. You've done so much work for this community, and it just, I just, itayakai itayamoi si itayashai inayai okoi itayakai itayashoi inayasai itayakai moi si inayasai okoi ashi ayatai moi si itayashai. I love you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. Daya Daya Shoe, okay. And Carissa, I acquire see Daya Shi, Daya Kai. Hi, love. Ina Kaka Oi, Tashana. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ellington um, and Kelly for that beautiful meditation and journey really and Karina is right it was just magical and um you make me believe you make me believe in magical beings that anything is possible other realities are there because you take us there and it makes me feel like a little girl again like how I felt as a little girl that these other realities and magical places existed and, and i'm just so happy for that and um the beautiful nature transmission ricardo and chiari um thank you i'm complete love you guys i feel like it's like old times like karina running the core room and clubhouse and marlon and everyone is here and oh it's completing it's like the birds are out of the nest flying and here we are <laughs> love you, love you. <laughs> exactly how i feel too <laughs> oh i love I mean. your laugh your giggles like, <laughs> I truly do feel that. That's why it's like I <laughs> I love you so much, Chris. Thank you for reflecting that. And I'm you made me so emotional. Like I wanted to just sob hearing you share that. I'm so glad that we get to reignite your inner youth, your eternal youth, your inner child. I love you, I love you, I love you. 
Thank you, Carissa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone, for being here and for sharing your light and for being the light. Inaya koi, inaya sayatai, no hayasi, naya shoyatai. Our birthday is coming up, love. <laughs> <laughs> love you mm. and thank you Michelle as well I see your message in the chat below I love you and Holly thank you for being here as well Love you. Aya Korea Sati Eshati, Onena Yasati Ato, Iakatati. Oh, what a beautiful tickle, what a beautiful tingle, what a beautiful, beautiful caress of the soul, of the heart, of this this beautiful beingness. Ikarayati Tikahasati Eshato Yatayati. The joy that is bursting from within yata kuri atikata o o o sete atikaroso to deati as we spread our wings ikaratu the cosmic wings isha to kopae ti kriyata shite ati and remember that we are the magic yata kuki ati ati asha ti are asha ti asha to we are the magic that we seek. Eshatu ikariyata shati ashaya ni antayo koshataya sai kiyasu. Ayakoriya sai Marlin. Yata koriya sai shatariyati. Marlin. Harlan brought in the water. It was a perfect timing and absolutely divine. Oh, the energies are so beautiful and the wings are so beautiful. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your co-creations. Thank you for being here in this resonance. Thank you for showing up for you and for all. And all nows. That transmission was absolutely transcendent. It was the most beautiful, tingling, caressing, joyous experience. And I remember at one time I looked over and I had to laugh. I had such a tickling heart belly laugh because I looked over and I saw Lily bouncing around <laughs> as a bunny. And she was carrying a basket full of eggs and she was a bunny. And so I was like, Lily's a bunny. And it made me laugh so hard. And it was just such a tickle laugh. And it was just such a playful experience. But with us um, planting and seeding our cosmic eggs throughout the solar system was a, just a beautiful and divine experience with each of our ancestors. Um, we were embodying all our, our multidimensional cells throughout the experience with each placement of each egg. And I was seeing each of the eggs as crystals from Mother Gaia, and it was like her eggs we were seeding throughout the cosmos and um, so that the cosmos can be a part of this rebirth of Mama Gaia. And we were gritting this beautiful energy throughout the cosmos, but it was in a playful way. And I love that you shared that because we spoke to that yesterday, Carissa. Ellington and I were speaking about 
he's like the Pied Piper of the cosmos. You know, he's leading us all back into this play, into this creative play. And that is the magic, is the creation is playing. Like we were when we were children, we ran outside to play and whatever looked like you know, what brought us our greatest excitement was which, what we gravitated towards and what resonated with us. And, you know, someone was playing with a ball and that was like, ooh, a ball. We just went and played with the ball. It was no thinking mind involved. It was just like, let's play, let's play. And that's what these transmissions are teaching us to remember about ourselves, about our, our divine nature as creators. It's just this beautiful rebirth, re, re, re-emergence out of the out of this thinking mind, out of this thinking construct. We are liberating our souls and our our sovereign nature is coming online. So be the bunny, be the eagle, be the hawk, be the butterfly, be the bee, but be you in all of that. Embody yourself wholly and radiate your, your divine beauty throughout all nows. Mm. Such a magical and beautiful experience. I didn't want to leave that transmission today because it was just so soothing and so tranquil and so serene and just a beautiful tickling sensation the whole time. It was just that goosebumps all over my skin and, you know, just tickling every every aspect of my being and I am so grateful for that and I have so much gratitude to each and every one of you for being here now and for everyone that's going to listen to this um either on YouTube or on Clubhouse later you are part of this as well your energy is there and Michelle I wanted to feel to tell you that I felt your beautiful energy and even in the beautiful transmission the other evening with the full moon when you stepped out like Peter Pan to look at the moon it was just so divine and it was just this beautiful reminder and beautiful pure innocence and that's what we are we don't have to think about it we just need to be just be about it just be us be you and bring that authenticity into each and every experience that we have more and more and mirror the child within us, you know, because when we were children, we didn't think about it. We were just being us, being, just being in our beautiful soul flow at every moment and being in the pure bliss and joy of that experience and embodying all that we are. You know, if we wanted to color, we colored. If we wanted to paint, we painted. If we wanted to dance, we danced. There were no rules about it. And so we need to get back to that essence, to that true, pure essence and that innocence of our divine nature. And in this Christ consciousness and in this collective consciousness, that's what we are. That's who we are. We're embodying that pure, angelic Christ consciousness and that also does also bring me back to that perfect balance between the divine feminine and masculine energies the resonance here is going to transcend this moment and I just love you all so much. I do want to share the cards that I pulled because it's extremely magical and I wanted to show Ellington the light language that channeled through for today um, because we have the video now. So this is the light language that you all can't see, but I'll take a picture and I'll post it for our Instagram. But this is the light language that was scribed for this transmission today. And then before the room, I pulled four cards 
two cards from beyond Lemuria because the Lemurians were our guides, our, our beautiful ancestors throughout this divine experience. And it's no coincidence that we are the ones that are here in this space right now, Tiari with your Lemurian ancestors and Ricardo with your Lemurian ancestors and Marlon and Carissa and Corinna and Michelle and Holly, all and Ellington, obviously. Um, the Lemurian ancestors are supporting us throughout this transmission. But I pulled two cards from the Beyond Lemuria guidebook. And the first card that I pulled before the transmission was Blueprints. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful card. I'll show it here and I'll also take a picture of it. But it's a beautiful Lemurian. And she has a star above her head and these beautiful wings. And it looks like an egg where her heart or maybe her solar plexus would be and a, and a butterfly or a mouth, whichever your interpretation would be where her heart throat chakra is. And I want to read for you from the book what it says about this because this message is for us. Be the change. Take action. Take a step, no matter how small. Ignite an upward spiral. Make a positive change. Ethics and compassion. Creating a ripple of light. Be the change you wish you to see is an empowering mantra to remind us that we can step up and create the blueprints for the world we want to know. Powerful, meaningful change starts with you today. Despite our desire to see change, we can be overwhelmed by all that is going on in the world and making a positive impact can seem impossible. It is healthy to have an interest in what is happening around us, but it is important not to become so disheartened that we can't find the inner light to ignite even the tiniest upward spiral of improvement. There is still so much natural beauty on this incredible blue planet. And there are organizations and solo game changers creating amazing transformation all the time. Shift your focus onto what is possible rather than what isn't. Stepping forward with action, however small, will benefit the vibration of the planet in some way. We have more of a voice than we realize. As consumers, we can direct our energy and make a difference through ethical choices. By stepping out of our own needs and wants, we can help someone at less privileged. We can pick up trash, be present with someone, or smile at those we share a path with. That reminds me of you, Marlon. Small acts create a ripple of goodness in the world. Consider how all beings can cohabitate this glorious planet. Could you design a blueprint from ethical, compassionate, heart-centered living? What would the guardians of this earth need to do or need to be? How would they feel about themselves? What can you do to uphold this? Wow. The second card that I pulled is stepping through. And it's a beautiful Lemurian goddess. And she has the Merkaba in her heart chakra and also in her brow chakra. And she has beautiful hummingbirds and a butterfly flying around her. And she has these beautiful bubbles bubbling out of her blossoming lotus iris flowers in her stomach. And she's blooming out of a beautiful lotus flower. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Can you see that? 
And stepping through his message, follow your heart. This is for you, Ellington. Dream big. Stepping through something that has been holding you back. Something that has been holding you back. The threshold, starting new projects, self-belief. This is for all of us. It is all possible. The road less traveled and trust. Step in and step up. All those dreams are pro or projects you have been putting off. Now is the time to start, even as if it is just one small element of the bigger picture. Although just do it has been coined by a commercial brand, it is one of my fundamental mantras. We will always have myriad reasons why today isn't the day. But remember, opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor. <laughs> H. Jackson Brown Jr. When you start something, talk about it. Take consistent steps to actualize it. And you will see it take on momentum of its own. The right people, places, and opportunities will magnetize and it will start to come together. Don't be afraid to fail. The success we see around us has come from perseve perseverance. Falling and getting back up again is part of this journey. Focus your energies and commit to seeing your vision become a reality. You are human. So set reasonable expectations and know that when you apply yourself, you can make amazing things happen. Building a dream can seem overwhelming, but if you break it down and make a plan, you will gracefully find a way through. You might be able to manage most aspects of a project, and it is great to have an incentive to learn more skills but it doesn't mean you need to do it on your own. <laughs> Whenever you are aiming to achieve, whatever you are aiming to achieve, there are people out there with the tools, skills, and energy you may be missing. Whew. That's for me. Look at the bigger picture and delegate a mentor. People on a similar journey or an, or an accountability buddy can be wonderful supporters and allies. Following your dreams is fulfilling and empowering, but as it is often a path less traveled, you may need to plot your own course or invent a way through. Also consider what kind of lifestyle you would like and know this may change and evolve as you do. What you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. John Anster, inspired by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. That was a very powerful message for me, and I received it with love and gratitude. The third card that I pulled was from the fairy oracles because it is of course fey day and so i wanted to hear from the fey and the fey stepped forward with moon energy and it's divine because we are still feeling the moon energy and it's a beautiful card it looks like an angel fairy with beautiful feathery dress and beautiful rainbow wings of light and a halo and she says surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life if you're feeling confused this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible we're all affected by the moon whether we realize it or not perhaps you feel especially tuned into the moon cycle right now the fairy of moonlight often appears when we have too many thoughts or are feeling confused. 
You can call on this fairy to take away any concerns or to inspire you to come up with solutions to challenges you are facing. Working in harmony with the moon can enhance any efforts you are making to manifest something in your life. The new moon phase is the perfect time to plant the seed or a wish you may have. As the moon grows, waxing through its phases, so too will your wish. The moon's waning phases are best for releasing anything that no longer serves your highest good, such as unpleasant thoughts, health issues, or people who aren't right for your life. When you place a crystal in the moonlight, it will absorb the mag magical moonbeams, which can then be used for fairy spells. Clear quartz is particularly good at absorbing the moon's energy and will help to amplify many things in your life, from health to finances. Amethyst is good for increasing spiritual energy while rose quartz helps to enhance love. The Fairy of Moonlight also sends inspiration to you to write down your thoughts, poetry, or songs, or even to write a book, Ellington. Write down what's in your head. Writing down what's in your head can be very therapeutic. Don't censor your thoughts. Once the words are on the paper, you'll symbolically release them from your mind. You can then bury or burn the paper to release fully any cares, worries, or concerns. And the last card that I pulled is from the Archangel Oracle Cards deck by Diana Cooper. And the card that came forth today, the Archangel that steps forward today is Archangel Ragio. Be fair in all situations and resolve your conflicts. And Raguel is holding the scales like the Liberian scales, the balancing scales. And it's a beautiful, beautiful angel of light with these beautiful golden wings. Archangel Raguel, the angel of justice, is a pale blue energy. His aim is to bring about a fair result in any situation or relationships. He works with countries, companies, families, and charities, as well as individuals, and tries to bring about meditation when situations are stuck. He enables people to find their truest integrity. If you are being treated unjustly or that life is unfair, Archangel Raggio will give you the strength and confidence you need to stand up for yourself. He sees the overall per perspective over many lifetimes and helps you to understand that there are many sides to every situation. Earth is regulated by the law of cause and effect, and Archangel Raggio ensures that it is implemented. He is very active now for this is a time of closure for the new golden age begins. And the guidance from this card, pulling this card is choosing this card indicates that there are many, there are, that there may be a misunderstanding or conflict in your life or in a relationship that needs to be resolved. It may be big or small from this life or from another. But, in the, but it is time to look at it from a very different angle. Remember that other people have a different perspective. So open your heart and try to understand their views. Your guidance is to let go of your ego around the issue and seek the highest solution with integrity. You may need to take your power back or forgive yourself or others. If so, now is the time to do so. Then ask Archangel Raquel to provide healing and resolution and take any opportunity that is presented to bring about harmony. Ya kokie ang gara yatu, niya ra kaketu 
Yarasati Ashoto Ma E U Yukato U Yasarayati Ashoto Yukaraisu Yakuriati Kata Yatu I receive, I receive, I receive, we receive Okote Yatu Kata Yatu Yarasakaturi Yati Ashati Yati Yati Miyatu Koshate Miyatakata Turi Yata Hikete Hoshate Kufayata, Kuriata, Isata Shoto, Kiata, Sate, Sate, Akoshate, Variate Kiti, Miatai. I love you, I love you, I love you. Beautiful, 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 divine, 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 divine beings of light. Ikatayato, Mieta Kiasate. And today, I will read for you from the 33 Codes, The Blueprint for the New Earth by Addie Lamborn. I'm going to read Code 7 today. And I wanted to show everyone the beautiful image of the goddess. You see that, Ellington? Look at that beautiful goddess. Wow. The beautiful image for this code today. I'll share on our page the image and also the code. Code 7. All of creation is a reflection of one source. Without the mirror of experimentation, one source could not compute its own inexplicable existence as well as her void. You are a fragment of the shadow as you pulsate with the light of life. Each being is a valued instrument in the cosmic orchestra of perpetuating magnification. Welcome all seeming differences and the richness of variations with your open heart. Embrace the necessity for extravagant multitude of unimaginable potentialities expressed as your kin, all offspring of your mother creator, all illuminated with the very same resplendent light. Behold this knowing as you encounter others in playful collaborations. The underlying design of all beings across the multiverse is one body, one beehive, one honeycomb, each and every fractal embodied in the one. Oneness is the unbreakable an undiminishable nature of one creation and one life. Relax into the individualized uniqueness of each fractal and be free. I'm going to read that again. Relax into the individualized uniqueness of each fractal and be free. Freedom is the ultimate nature of all realities, for it is in the unconditional freedom you inherit the queendom of heaven. Only when your heart is untethered, can you fully thrive? This has been the reading of Code 7 from the 33 Codes, The Blueprint for the New Earth by Addie Lamborn. My name is Kelly Love, and I love you all in all nows. Yakukai. Yakuka yarasa tisho tu baya na karyana ti ayasusho te yati kashia na yano na yasaya no kosha ti. I love you. I love you. I love you. 
beautiful souls. May our visions be clear and our light shine bright for all. May our soul language ring clear throughout the cosmos. And may our hearts love unconditionally in all ways and in all nows. I love you in all nows, beautiful souls. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you for your share and for your outpour of love. It's received so graciously and I honor you so deeply. Thank you for co-creating today with me. And thank you everybody for being here and for sharing in the light and for basking in the love and allowing yourself to just be simply. I love you so, so much. I'm gonna quote um, Marlon in, her ch in the chat. She said something that you said, Kelly, reminds her of one of her favorite quotes, quote unquote, the universe always falls in love with a stubborn heart by J.M. Storen. Thank you, Marlon, for that share. And thank you everyone again for being here. I appreciate you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. If no one else wants to share anything, then we'll go out and close the room. I appreciate you so much for being here, for taking the time out of your day to just bask in this energy and this love frequency with each and every one of us. It was so much joy, and I uh, this was the most tingles I've had, uh, like in the fade age transition. Like honestly, I mean, in a while, probably even just in general, honestly. But I thank you all so much for all of that co-creation because it was with each and every one of your outpours of love that made this possible. Inaya shoyatai, niyakai, inaya woi, inaya sai, inaya shoy, irayakai, mayataya sen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'll see you on Moon Day Monday for a live stream on Instagram only. Oh, actually, I'm no, sorry. It's on Instagram and YouTube. So feel free to check me out there at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a very casual conversation and for an overview of the energies of the week from my perspective as the Celestiographer and with the insights that I've received and come up with through Celestiography. And then I'll have a Wednesday, Witches and Wings Wednesday. Oh, actually, it's Wings and Witches Wednesday, co-creation Q&A, where I'll bring in a guest, probably Lily Rose or somebody else, anyone else. Honestly, anyone's welcome to come in. Uh, and we'll do Q&As and I'll answer live questions and, and it'll be a flow on, that's only on Instagram. So yeah, you can catch it on there. Uh, I might post the replay on, on YouTube, but we'll see. And then again, on Faye Day, next Friday at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with my co-mod, Kelly Love. I'll see you then. I appreciate you so much. Feel free to reach out to each and every one of us on stage, any of the moderators. I know we would be so happy to receive you. We are so brilliantly blessed and brightened by the love and the work of just being the magic. So thank you so much for everyone co-creating this experience today. I have so much love for each and every one of you and I hope to speak with you soon. Have a great rest of your Fay Day, Friday, Venus Day. I love you. Bye all. Love you. Thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Love rising. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Corinna. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Okay, let me end the live stream also on YouTube. And thank you, everybody.